Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility Channel. And you have arrived on my doorstep just as we're going to taste Day 17 from this World Whiskey Advent Calendar from Drinks by the Dram. I've been tasting these blind and putting together some sort of story about what it is, what it ta tastes like, smells like, looks like, different things and seeing how that matches what's on the label. So, this comes out every uh, year right before Christmas and this one is very interesting because the whiskeys are from all over the world. Okay, so we are ready to pop into number 17 and pull out the bottle and pour it into a glass without me seeing what it is. Didn't break as cleanly as some of them. Hmm. Yeah, I thought the part would fall off. And I'll put the bottle over here so I can't see it while we're going through all this. I thought I got a little whiff of bourbon when I put it to my nose. And this is pretty dark stuff. So that's my bias right now. So we're going to nose this, and taste this, and I'll give you my thoughts before we read the label and see what it really is. Hmm. Not a lot of clues there. I get the alcohol, but not the usual corn sweetness or vanilla or oak notes. Hmm. Could be a bourbon. Some of them have a little more quiet nose than the others. Get the ethanol, but I can't really tell what kind of ABV it might have. I can't say there's a lot of clues from the nose. Could be a malt, could be a, an American whiskey. We'll just have to start tasting. Hmm. Interesting. It's not very malty, but it doesn't uh, really suggest what grains it might be from. Could be an American whiskey with one of those four grain things. It has corn and rye and wheat and barley. Some are, some of them malted, some of them not sometimes. Or it could be from some other part of the world. I've missed a few malts in this uh, series. They come from other countries. They have different practices, different kinds of oak casks. Putting it all over my mouth, it could be a malt. Could be some sort of sherry finishing or other type of wine cask finishing. There are some of the dark fruit notes, hints of other things in there that could be from a cask. But the malty character is not really jumping out at me. There is a dark, sweet, rich fruitiness that's suggesting the sherry type Finishing more and more, or maybe exclusive maturation in it, because this is, this is, well, it's not that dark. It's interesting, it's complex, it's high quality, and I'm still trying to pick apart all the pieces. ABVE seems 45 to 50% range. There are nuances, there are complexities. I think this is consistent with the malt, but the malt is papered over with the finishing. I 
or the maturation cask. So it's not striking me as a scotch necessarily. It's unlike most scotches I've had. So I think it's going to be some other part of the world and it's going to be interesting to find out. Wouldn't surprise me at all if it was Japanese or New Zealand or South African. And the breadth of character of uh, scotches is pretty wide, so it could be a scotch. But I'm certainly not thinking bourbon. I'm not thinking American so much. Like I suggested on the first tasting. Let's add a little water. See if anything changes or something new jumps out. Can't say the nose is any different. If anything, it might be hiding a little more than it was at the beginning. On the palate, the sweetness just sort of flattened out, the sherry notes flattened out. Could still be a malt, but I wouldn't add water as an for normal drinking and enjoyment. This is interesting, complex, nuanced, fairly subtle, and I might seek this out and look into how to get more of it. It's interesting and I enjoy, I'm enjoying it now. I would enjoy it more, not having to figure it out all the time. So I think I'm just gonna look at that bottle and see what it says. Kavalon King Car Whiskey Conductor Single Malt Whiskey 46% by volume. So this is the famous Taiwanese malt that is uh, highly regarded and I guess I had some last year in the whiskey advent calendar. I don't remember the expression or any details about it, but I remember it being good. And this gets good reviews all the time by the uh, usual suspects. Everyone likes it and I'm liking it too. So I'll do a little research and throw a little more info down in the description below. So if you are liking what you're seeing, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell if you want a notification every time a new video is posted. Although we're doing a lot of whiskey in December here, we, the channel is not primarily about whiskey, but it's about tasting and exploring interesting things. So it could be homemade bread or fresh roasted coffee or interesting teas, but it will be uh, a series of series. So keep watching for the whiskey, keep watching for the things that come after, and Merry Christmas. That's all for now.